G'day guys, this is Peter from What's Up Blog. And um, I've never really bothered about authorship before or the uh, rich snippets, but when I started my new blog, Easy eBets, uh, sorry, Easy eSportsBetting.com, I wanted to get that off and rocking, and I reckon the best way to do that was to make good old Google happy. And one way to do that was to prove authorship and to get rich snippets going. Well, it's taken me for ages to get it to work properly because uh, whatever Google was telling me to do wasn't working with my theme. And same thing with all the um, other webmasters and bloggers that I found online, they were having problems as well. And because I'm using the FlexSqueeze theme, what they were suggesting just wasn't working. So um, I did all that I could until I finally resolved the issue and I've got it working. And now I'm going to show you guys how to get authorship and rich snippets working on your Flex Squeeze theme. As you can see on What's Up Blog, I've got authorship working, not a problem. But as you scroll down, you've got these little red things coming up and saying that uh, Google can't find certain things, like it's missing the entry title, it's missing field update, it's also missing the hedge card author. Now, uh, again, searching online, a lot of the other bloggers were saying this wasn't necessary, you know. It doesn't matter if you're getting these errors, Things are fine as long as you got authorship, but I'm sorry that's not good enough for me. I have to fix everything, and I did, and now I'm going to show you how to do it. Right, this is a post which will be going live, and on this post it will have everything that you need to get your Flex Squeeze theme working properly. So that's the code that we need to find to fix the single PHP file. Okay, so we're going to find that. So I'm going to go into my dashboard, and then from dashboard, we're going to go into appearance, editor, so we can edit the, the files that we need. So I'm going to click editor. Once editor comes up, we're going to find single PHP. All right, so I'll just type in single. Is it there? So we're going to click on that. Once that opens, we're going to look for this particular code snippet. And we'll look for a uh, title. That would do. So look for title. So find title. Let's have a look. And we'll just move that up so we can find it. There we go. Okay, so we check that code snippet again. So it's from H2 to div. So we're going to highlight that. There's H2 there, and we highlight all the way up to the first div. Okay, and that's after the edit, so we'll just double check that. That's after the edit, cool. Okay, and this is what we want to change it to. So I'll bring that code up. Okay, so we copy that. And now we're going to post that over this code snippet. So the new one is going to replace the old one. So I'm just going to post it over that. Okay, so there's the new one now. And now we're going to save or update that file. So do the next file now. The next file is archive PHP. So we'll load that file up. Archive is easy to find, so we'll click on that. While that's loading archive, let's have a look at the code snippet that we need to change. Again, we'll look for title and it's h2 to the first div again okay so let's have a quick look for title okay all right so there's a few there so here we go there's the h2 so we're going to highlight that one to the first div which is there and notice it's got the link edit there Okay, let's have a look. Link edit, div, okay. And we have to change it to there, this bit. So we're gonna bring up the source file. We're gonna copy all that. So copy, go back to that one. And we're gonna paste the new one over the old one. So, okay. That's done. Now we're going to update that file. While that's updating, let's look at the next one. If I'm correct, it's the index PHP. And there it is, index. 
your main one. Okay, so we go back. Hopefully that's updated. Not quite. There we go. Okay, let's find index. It's not that one. That's the main index template. Click on that. While that's loading, we'll have a look at the code. Got to make sure you do it properly. Okay, so it's, once again, it's H2 to the first div. So check it out. Find title. Okay, let's scroll up. Is it highlighted it? Okay, there it is. So it's H2 from there to the first div, which is after the edit. Double check. Always double check. Okay, so that's correct. Now we want to make it look like this. So we're going to bring that up. Good idea, guys, while I'm doing this. Before you attempt any of this, back up those three files, the archive, the single PHP, and index PHP. That way, if you do anything wrong, you can restore the originals and get your site still up and running. Never do this thing without having a backup in hand. Okay, so we'll copy that and go back to that one. We're going to paste it over the new one. Okay, so that's ready to go, and we're going to update. Okay, next thing to do, if you're running a cache file, cache up um, plugin, sorry, you want to clear your cache so that your site is now uh, running these new files. So I'm just going to clear my cache. Uh, if I can find the right plugin, I've got so many plugins. Where are you? There we go. Performance, page cache. Hopefully if I haven't stuffed anything up, once I've cleared the cache, the blog will still work. That's the next thing we're going to check. Okay, so uh, empty cache, there we go. That'll come up in a minute to say everything's emptied. Keep our fingers crossed once we everything works. Okay, so that's emptied now. Scroll over to my blog here. I'm just going to refresh that page. And hopefully she runs again. And everything looks good. First time I'd done this, it didn't work. And that was only because uh, I didn't realize when I put the codes in the post that with, uh, WordPress stuffs up all the files and I had to find a plugin to fix it. That's working fine. Just try a link, see if that works on the my Friday funny posts, which you should really keep an eye on because I post it every Friday full of laughs, guys. You can't miss out on the Friday funnies. It's my most popular post of the week. And that one's looking fine too. Okay, so now let's have a look at um, Google and see if we've got rid of those errors. It's a bit slow today. I'll have to reboot my computer, I think. But let's go back there. All right, that's what it used to have. We will now preview again and see if the errors are fixed. Okay. And yes, there are no more errors. But just to make sure, we'll have a look at that page. I'll just copy and paste that. So I'll copy that page and then I'll bring up one of the archives ones to make sure that's working. So let's look at my blogging tips. So I'll left blogging that. We'll test this one. Okay, so preview that page, or sorry, that post. Make sure there's no errors on that one. And once again, it is error free. All right. And finally, we'll have a look at the archive. Copy that. That's the category, which is basically archives. Let's preview that one. And scroll down. And once again, it is error free. There you go, guys. Problem solved. So if you're one of the lucky bloggers who uh, uses a FlexSqueeze 
theme. I know you love the theme and you always wanted to have your authorship and rich snippet working. That's how it is done. It's Peter from What's Up Blog and um, I hope you enjoyed that video and if you like it, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and to let your other friends and bloggers know where they can get this fix done. I'm signing off. Have a great week.